right, Leo, we got patient, reversed, and then we got spying. So, Leo, there is somebody who is definitely impatient about you. This is somebody that may have been watching you from a distance because we got spying right here. And I feel like your person is just conflicted within themselves. I don't feel like this is with somebody else. I feel like they just conflicted within themselves. Like, they just been losing it, to be honest. Mentally, they just have not been, you know, right. So, you know... I just feel like they just have been spying on you from a distance, but I am seeing Leo. This person is going to come in, Leo, with some form of communication. This person going to tell you the truth about something. Some of y'all um, may have had some form of a small argument with this person before y'all separated. And maybe that's probably why they was afraid to come towards you in the first place. Maybe because they thought you was going to cuss them out about whatever happened between y'all. But it's like them it, they basically them resisting it like it basically they cannot resist it put it like that they cannot resist it it's like even though they was afraid of coming forward leo they're going to really eventually come forward to tell you something i don't know why i'm getting this energy but there is something that this person really needs to tell you i don't know what it is what is it spirit we need to know i'm just getting this agitated energy like conflicted energy within themselves like they need to tell you something Leo and they feel like they need to be up and honest about up front and honest about what it is that they need to tell you because they have been watching you like I said before from a distance they just you know they just been resisting it for a while because they was afraid of you cussing them out they didn't want no tension between y'all too so but I am seeing they eventually give in and conversate Leo what else some of y'all could be an air sign we got rebound right here. What else do we have for Leo Collective? Clear intuitive messages, please. 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 Okay, strongholds, and then we got playing house. Okay, so Leo. I feel like, I ain't gonna lie, some of y'all this person could be looking at you as another option, like they want a second chance with you, Leo, but it's because this person's still holding on to you. Some of y'all have a soul tie to this person, some form of attachment to this person, but I am seeing that this person has a stronghold, like you have a stronghold over them, that's what I feel like, that's probably why I'm getting this agitated, ir like irritated energy with this person, because they was trying to hold back. You know, but they cannot hold back. But I just feel like your person is not here to play with you, Leo. Maybe in the past, they may have played around with you, played with your feelings, toyed around with you in a way. But I feel like your person wants something serious now. They want something serious with you, Leo. And I just, like I said, they can't shake you. I'm getting this energy where your person just cannot shake you off of them. No matter what it is that they do. No matter who it is that they entertain, Leo. I just feel like... Them even trying to play around with you is impossible because how strongly that they feel for you, how attached that they are to you. What else do we have? Clear intuitive messages. Yeah, they may have let go of somebody that was very toxic to them. Somebody did them wrong. So if they went and thought they was going to entertain somebody else, Leo, it didn't turn out right, obviously. They let go of that person because they was being evil to them. I'm getting that evil energy toward back at your person. You see what I'm saying? But I am seeing that your person is ready to have something serious with you. And they ready because they ready to face their fears. Maybe after, before they was afraid of being with you. I am getting that energy where your person was afraid of actually having something serious with you. And that's probably why they played around with you a little bit. Because they didn't know if they really even wanted it to begin with. But... I am seeing after some time of dealing with somebody else and getting dogged out by the next person, because I'm hearing that they got dogged out by somebody else. Now they're ready to come back because like, even though they was entertaining another person, spirit saying that, you know, they really didn't want to be there to begin with. It was just out of convenience. It was because they really 
you know, it was they was really running away from you, Leo. Put it like that. They was really running away from you. That's why they played with you and didn't want you to know exactly how they really felt. So they wouldn't go entertain somebody else. Knowing that they knowing that they ran into another situation that was really a goddamn devil. You see what I'm saying? They got dogged out by somebody ten times worse. Or, but like I said, your person gonna eventually come through and get serious with you and, and face some fears. They wanna let go of any fears that they once had. In regards of y'all relationship, Leo, Queen of Swords reverse. Some of y'all could be feeling like this person is lying. We got the Queen of Swords twice, so we got the Queen of Swords upright right here, and then we got the Queen of Swords um, reverse. But I am hearing that your person um was around bad influences, like they was around. I feel like it may have been a third part. It don't even have to be a romantic love interest that they may have been involved in. It could be. Some of y'all it is. The rest of y'all, it could have just been like their toxic friends and family members. Some form of attachment that they had to for a while. You know what I'm saying? It could have just been that influencing this person to go and out, go out and do their own thing. You see what I'm saying? It only has to be a romantic love interest. Some of y'all it is the romantic love interest that they was involved with that dogged them out. The rest of y'all, it was their toxic ass friends that they was dealing with that was, you know, giving them bad inf there was a bad influence to your person. You see what I'm saying? But we got the page of swords right here. Reverse. But I just felt like they just got tired of spying on you and talking about you. So now they're just ready to come come forward. You know, but some of y'all may not have the desire that you once had with this person. Some of y'all, when this person comes through, I'm not even going to lie. Some of y'all could have this person blocked. We got the Eight of Wands right here. You could have. You know what this is really telling me, Leo? This is telling me that whatever that you had towards them, it reversed. So I'm getting desperate energy. Some of y'all, this person could be coming off as very desperate when they approach you. Whether that's through a phone call, whether that's through a text message. Um, but some of y'all going to either ignore them or block them. Or we gonna we gonna see, but I'm getting that desperate energy with this person. They mind you, they wasn't like this before. I feel like the more they des distance they got, you know, the more distance it was between the two of you, the more desperate they became. You see what I'm saying? That's the energy that has happened. And actually, that energy may have reversed. Especially if you was the one in that energy before Leo, it reversed on them. Now, if you never was in this desperate energy about this person, obsessing over this person, blase, 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 it's just that your person, they cannot resist. They realize that they can't sit here and put up a front anymore because, to be honest, they never really, you know, felt, they, they always felt a certain way about you. They always wanted you, you know, it's just that. Now they being forced to come towards you because they don't have that other person no more. They dogged them out. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, we got the emperor reverse. So this person is going to be pissed off because, like I said, some of y'all blocked this person. It could be going to voicemail or you could be completely ignoring this person's phone calls or text messages. Y'all take what applies. But I am seeing somebody is going, what the hell is this? But I am seeing that somebody is going to eventually get upset. This person is going to be pissed off because you don't want nothing to do with them no more. Yeah, they're going to be hurt. They're going to be in their feelings now. They gonna it's, it's crazy. Like, they were so desperate and tempted. I, I feel like they gave in temptation because they feel like they had no choice. Because, like I said, the, the person that they may have, or that other person, you know, dogged them out, and now that you, they come towards you, you dogging them out, so it's like, roles reversed, honey, like, you had me like this, now, they pissed off and hurt, and they feelings and feeling the loss of you, Leo, three of pinnacles, some of y'all definitely could be entertaining a whole nother person, and that's probably why you could be rejecting this person, or you just don't want nothing to do with them, you just want to focus on your business, or your career, or your job, but I am seeing that eventually, you, somebody's going to end up giving in and coming together with this person but somebody's not in love with them like they used to i feel like leo you may have fell in love with this person or you just feel like you not be you're not going to be able to trust this person even because i am seeing the door eventually open for this person it's just that it's either somebody may not love this person like they used to or somebody just don't trust the person or it could be both but i am getting a one-sided situation now leo where this person is in desperate need to have you you see what I'm saying? But I feel like you're not you're gonna you're not gonna be in love with this person, Leo. You don't look at them like they look at you by the time this person come back in. 
I don't know why, Leo. I'm hearing you go suffer. Because some of y'all let this person suffer a little bit. Like, you ignoring them, you know, stuff like that, blocking them, unblocking them. I'm getting that energy, Leo, where some of y'all was doing that to them. It's because they was, because how they shitted on you before. You see what I'm saying? And now that, that third party that they was in a situation with, they shitted on you, on them and dogged them out. Now they had no choice but to rebound, you know, come back. This basically was forced because they know that deep down inside, mentally, you was not leaving their mind. You was never, no matter who it is that they bounce to, Leo, from person to person, you was always going to be on this person's mind. And now you got this person pissed off because now that they're coming back, it's too late, buddy, because you don't feel the same way about them or you just don't trust them. Y'all let me know in the comment section which one it is because I am seeing that somebody may not trust or may not have these feelings for this person like they used to. Yeah, y'all could be pulling y'all energy back from this person. You know what I'm saying? Some of y'all, I feel like y'all just don't trust them. Maybe you feel like they stand, they don't have high standards like you used to, you know, and I mean, like they used to, and you just don't trust them. You feel like this person is an HOE. You feel like they're a thought, a hoe. You see what I'm saying? Some of y'all looking at this person as a thought or a hoe or whatever you want to call this person, but I just felt like... You feel like this person is just not your king. You see what I'm saying? With this king of wands right here reverse, you just feel like this is somebody that has really low a low low standards themselves. Like they they limit themselves. They don't know they don't know their own worth. So why would you, you know, take them back in? That's the energy I'm picking up on y'all. Like you don't you feel like they don't know their worth. So why would I take you back? You know what I'm saying? And plus you don't know my worth, so Therefore, I don't want nothing to do with you. Some of you guys, it could be somebody you have children with. But I am seeing that you are somebody with a lot of high standards, Leo. You know what it is that you deserve. This is somebody who was with a lot of class, you know, very beautiful, abundant, prosperous. I feel like you're doing really, really good without this person, Leo. I really feel that you are having a new beginning without this person. Meanwhile, they're going to have time. They're going to have to sit in the background and recover from whatever. They got to take that loss, basically, Leo. They got to take it. They got to recover on their own because, listen, bang, confirmation twice. You're done. You have completely laid this situation to rest. I feel like most of you guys have completely laid it to rest. I feel like you allow this person to sit in their own bullshit and, you know, because that's what you had to do. You had to sit and face the simple fact that they didn't want nothing to do with you or they didn't want to be with you at that time. So I feel like y'all are definitely walking away from this situation because you thought this person didn't respect you from the jump. They didn't see your words from the jump. So you falling back away from them. You know what I'm saying? I feel like you were done with this person. But I'm going to pull two random cards for y'all. So if it resonates, let me know. If it don't, then you ain't got to take that message. Just leave that message out. You know, but if three or four messages resonate out of this, then let me know. We got no one cross me once. So you're not giving this person another chance. You're not allowing nobody to take advantage of you. You're not no, letting nobody to disrespect you. I feel like you're not letting nobody to disrespect you. That's what's standing out the most of this person disrespecting you, trying to make it seem like you wasn't worth nothing. And you know your value. You know your worth. You know what it is that you deserve. And you damn sure don't deserve no goddamn breadcrumbs. That's what I'm hearing. Crime. So, ooh, some of y'all, this person may have committed a crime. Maybe they did something to you. Somebody could be on probation. Maybe this person could be on probation. Um, Maybe they have, like, a felony or, or something like that. I don't know. But this came out. Crime came out. Ooh, I'm also hearing somebody could be, like, in a gangbang or something. Maybe they had... Um, maybe this type of person that was running the streets with their homies, you know, getting into it, you know, doing, just being destructive to the community, just doing stupid ass shit, you know what I'm saying, stuff like that, but I am getting that this is somebody who could be for the streets with you, and you could be leaving them where they got in their little tears, because, you know, they should, I'm here and miss me with that bullshit, like, they... They should have seen your work from the jump, but now it's too late. But I'm going to wrap this up, Leo. If three, four messages resonate, don't forget to like, comment down below, and subscribe. And y'all be blessed.